Hello, everyone. I will introduce MQTT CPP, Boost Azure based MQTT communication library. My name is Takatoshi Kondo. I'm from Japan. I'm working for OGIS. I'm developing scalable MQTT based messaging platform named Message Pub Plus. It uses MQTT CPP. I contribute some open source projects. MQTT is a communication protocol for IoT. MQTT is based on PubSub model. It's very lightweight protocol. It's connection-based protocol, different from HTTP REST. Let me show you the concept of PubSub model. We can use multiple subscribers, publishers, and topics. Subscribers can subscribe any topics. For example, subscriber one subscribes topic A and B. Subscriber two subscribes topic B. Then publisher one publishes the message hello to topic A. Then the message is delivered to subscriber one. Publisher two publishes the message world to topic B. In this case, the message is delivered to both subscriber one and two. The left hand side are implemented as client, and the right hand side is implemented as server. In MQTT domain, the server called broker. MQTT supports the newest, uh, MQTT CPP supports the newest version of MQTT protocol, 3.1.1. I have a plan to support the next uh, standard, MQTT 5, currently not accepted as the standard yet. Its head-only library, both asynchronous and synchronous operations are supported, like Boost Azure. You can create client application using client functionality. Also, you can create your custom broker using server functionality. It's open source, Boost licensed. MQTT CPP supports four variations of MQTT connection. Here is a protocol stack from left to the right, MQTT on TCP, uh, MQTT TLS on CPP. It's usually called MQTTS. MQTT on WSS, TLS version of WebSocket, and MQTT on WebSocket. Thank you for Boost Beast. Congratulations, Vini. Let me show you a code example. First, Include a header file, then define IO service object, then create client with IO service object, hostname, and the port, and set up MQTT parameters. Then set up handlers. In this example, I implemented only connect handler. Uh, CONAC means connect acknowledgement. If MQTT connection is successfully established, then subscribe topic one. The Boolean return code tells continue or not continue asynchronous process to the library. Not in the example though, MQTT CPP provides various functions and handlers. For example, publish function, uh, receiving message handler, on close handler, and so on. After setup we are finished, then call connect member function. Finally, call IO service run member function. It's basic manner boost ASIO based application. Let me show you a simple demo. My iPhone becomes an acceleration sensor and my PC becomes a monitor. Both connect to the broker on AWS EC2. The monitor subscribes the topic for acceleration data. Then the acceleration sensor publishes the data to broker. The data format is message pack. Uh, the broker uses MQTT server. Both sensor and monitor are web browser for demo. I use MQTT.js uh, to connect to the broker. Okay, uh, this is the demo. This, if I tilt my iPhone turn right, the monitor reflected. Oh, something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
you don't, ah, uh, maybe it's to connect to the Wi-Fi, ah, okay, time. Okay, like that. Very quick response. Okay, uh, please try it. Thank you.